What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here. Hope you're doing super well. Listen, today I really wanna dig into the fact that we're in the beginning of this market cycle. It cannot be denied. We're headed that way. However, demand is still incredibly high. If you look at the absorption rate in your market and, and across the country, we're still below five months of inventory, okay? That's normally the, the guideline there, the, the golden rule. Five months of inventory is a balanced market between buyer and seller, right? When you're above five months of inventory, that's more of a buyer's market. And when you're under five months of inventory, it's a seller's market. Guys, we're still in an incredibly strong seller's market. Less demand than we had, still tons of demand historically. So I want you to understand this, that demand is still extremely high. And if we price properties exactly where we need to price them, which should be somewhere close to the last comparable sale, then we're gonna get multiple offers still. I'm still getting multiple offers on properties where the sellers are realistic and they understand where the market is and they are pricing the properties accordingly. Now the sellers who are pricing their properties 10% higher, of course, they're just sitting on the market. And that's why we're seeing inventory come up is because we have the seller denial stage that we're in right now. As time goes on, we'll have less and less denial in the market for sellers. But for now, we still have a little seller denial going on, really a lot of seller denial going on. So the feds raise rates today, higher than they've raised them in over 20 years. We have Compass and Redfin laying off hundreds of people. We got Compass shutting down their title company. We have them halting public trading. Um, indefinitely they say so there's a lot of stuff happening um, transactions are lower so on and so forth what I want you to focus on is the fact that this next 18 months can really set you up for an incredible business okay and I really want you to understand this and really dig into this in your mind prepare and get ready to execute okay all of the massive agents have all built their businesses during the down cycle. That's where they acquired all their market share. So what I want you to understand is that even though transactions are gonna be lower, we gotta go all in with what we are doing. We gotta stay the course here and even go harder with creating as many relationships with property owners as humanly possible. Now, let's talk about market share for a second. And let's just use a round number, say 2%. Okay, now 2% is a lot of market share. And realize that market share to me is the amount of relationships you have with property owners in that market, in your population, of your area. So whoever has the most relationships with property owners in the area owns the market. You have the most market share. Let's say you have 2% of the owners you're friends with. Let's just use round numbers here. Maybe there's no way you can get to that. Maybe your market's so big you can only get to 0 0.0001, something like that. Who knows? but it just depends. But let's just use 2% as just a round number just for theoretical purposes here. If you go out there, let's say you have five, you know, a half a percent of market share right now, theoretically, okay, you got a really small market, whatever. Okay, you've got half a percent. During the next 18 months when transactions are down and nobody's calling and trying to create new relationships because transactions are down and people are like, why should I call? Transactions are down, there's no reason to go out there and call, nothing's gonna happen anyway. Listen to what I'm saying. If you go all in with creating more relationships, building that database up, nurturing those relationships, remarketing as I'm teaching you to do, what happens is when you build up to 2% in a retracted market, okay, as the market retracts and you go out there and you go harder to build your database up to the 2%, okay, you go from a half a percent to 2%, when the market rebounds and expands, that 2% triples, that 2% quadruples, that 2% 5Xs, 10Xs, okay? So that 2% ends up being massive, massively larger in an expanded market than it was in a retracted market. So this is how the future top producers are actually gonna go out there and acquire more market share. And when the market expands again, that's when their business is gonna blow up to the moon. And this is what I want you to understand that this right now is the moment to put that plan in place over the next 18 months to go all in on building this base up. Whereas you're gonna sell a lot of property during the 18 months through the process of talking to that many people and creating that many relationships and trying to help everyone, right? This is what you do, right? Through the process of trying to really visualize that 18 month, 24 month, 36 month, 50 month down the road business that could actually be there if you went all in over the next 18 months as we have a retracting market is absurd. 
You guys have no idea where you could be if you really look at the situation, how it's going to play out. You know, a lot of people are calling for this to be a mild recession where it's not really, and some people think this is gonna be a, a crash. In my mind, there's no way that this is gonna be as bad as 2008, okay? That was a complete real estate meltdown. Prices went down 50% across the board, okay? There's a lot of stuff going on there. Do not see that happening whatsoever. It could be more than mild, it might be mild. But one thing we know is that it's gonna be something, and with the amount of agents that came into the business over the last couple years, we're gonna have a meltdown, we're gonna have a lot of agents leave the business, but we're also gonna have a lot of agents join the business, enter the business, right? During recessions, we see a lot of people get into real estate, right? Because they're losing their job, they wanna go, same reason they got in during the, the, the pandemic, because they, they lost their job or whatever, and they said, oh, real estate might be the next best thing, let's go try it. We're gonna see that during the recession. We're gonna lose a lot of agents, we're gonna gain a lot of agents. Listen, we've got to stay very focused on what the goal is, creating a eight-figure business, right? We need to be focused on an eight-figure business. Seven-figure, eight-figure is the new black. That's the new thing, right? So let's focus as hard as we can to create as many relationships in the market as we can, as humanly possible every day, build our systems around that one activity, right? And know that Okay, we might take a 10% hit over the next 18 months. We might take a 20% hit in our business over the next 18 months. But over the next 24 months, as the market rebounds, over the next 36 months, over the next 50 months, we're going to see our business expand and it's going to be massive. So I hope this video hits home for you. I hope it makes you realize, hey, this is the moment to go all in, not to retract yourself right, and to take advantage of the situation. There's so much greatness, right, there's so much greatness ahead for each and every one of us, all right? So I'm headed down to Orlando tomorrow. I'm gonna be at the Shareholder Summit. I'm doing a, a Zero to Diamond meetup Saturday at the Harry Buffalo, believe it or not, at noon. So if you're around the area, the Harry Buffalo in Orlando, Saturday at noon, Happy to see you guys there. And then I'm gonna go down to Fort Lauderdale because we're opening up a branch office there that's gonna be on the 23rd. You're welcome to come out and, and I'm happy to, uh, to see you there, shake hands. I'll say a few words there as well. And I'm just happy to be alive right now, guys. We're in the middle of something really incredible. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.